First thing we're talking about station setup. Most efficient way to do it, as Tammy has it, dumbbells just behind the pull-up bar, so she'll perform her four thrusters. Step forward to the butt, to the pull-up bar, perform her toes to the bar, and then step straight forward into a rope. Either you can go side on or facing out, really just personal preference. The turning time is about the same. Then she's gonna turn around, perform her next set of thrusters, turn around, toes to the bar, and double up. Next movement, we're talking about the thruster. Really the two most efficient ways to get into your first repetition as fast as possible. If you have a slightly wider squat stance, you're gonna start the dumbbells together, feet in the outside, pull straight into your first rep without full extension. Good. Now, if you have a narrower squat stance, again, the goal here is minimal footwork with each repetition. Set the dumbbells wider, get your feet in your squat stance. You're gonna pull up on the outside into your first rep. Now, when it comes to toaster bar efficiency, we want to start underneath the pull-up bar to begin with. When you jump up, pull yourself straight into your hollow so you can go straight into your first rep. Now, if you do not pull yourself back into your first hollow, A, you're going to waste a, a lot of time going through short beat swings before you get your first rep. So if you just jump up into a dead hang and then start your beat swing, valuable seconds in your workout gone as well as extra repetitions. Similarly, if you jump up and go into your first rep without going into your hollow than your arch, you're gonna go into a strict toes to the bar or a monkey swing. With a double under, you have two options. The most efficient way would be to go straight into your first rep being a double under. Good. If that is the skill you have not practiced, we would not advise doing that in this workout under high levels of fatigue. Otherwise, do what's most comfortable, which would probably be going from a single under into your double unders. Perfect. Now in terms of laying the rope down once you've finished with your set, lay it down neatly so that you can step into it in your next set. Valuable time is wasted trying to organize your rope. 